All right, team, I got another great problem for you. And this again is another awesome problem from the 62, the reading specialist exam. Now look, I know these are a little harder. They're meant to be harder. This is meant to be a challenging section in the class, right? But I think that everyone that's watching this, uh, I think you can learn from a question like this. I like this one a lot. I thought they did a nice job uh, of introducing a lot of ideas and scenarios. And, and I like that. I like when the scenarios are, are, you know, really realistic. You know, that makes it in some ways harder to analyze, but also really good ones to study because you kind of get an awareness of these different scenarios they can put on your test, okay? So I want you to start. And because this is filled with a lot of ideas, I want you to take the next two to three minutes and I want you to read it over to yourself, okay? Do that now and pause me. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to read it with you, okay? Um, this is a fun question. It says, early in the school year, the reading specialist suggests that children who are only beginning to develop letter knowledge should be encouraged, but not required, to include pictures in their journal. Okay, now we don't have a grade here. There's not a grade here. But let's say, let's say right now this is um, early in the school year for a group of kindergarten students. I know it doesn't say it, but let's just say right now kindergarten. So that's our five to six, all right? And what are they suggesting? There's, they're looking at this group of kindergarten students and they're saying uh, those students that are beginning to develop letter knowledge, that means they're beginning to apply the alphabetical principle. Is that right? I'll just write down ABC for the alphabetical principle. They should be encouraged, but not required. So this could also have been, you know, a younger grade two, four, um, four to five. They should be encouraged, but not required, but encouraged, but not, but encouraged, but not required uh, to include print in their journal. So they, they, so initially we want them to draw, but we'd also kind of like them to write if they can. However, they should make an effort to draw pictures, definitely make an effort to draw pictures of recent events, and so they're going to be using the journal, whatever they're doing, drawing or writing, to draw, um, make sure that they use their journal to include pictures of uh, events and people, and try in those pictures, wherever they are in the writing process, to include as much detail as possible. Now, who's worked in early childhood or who has kids? And you see their writing and their drawing, maybe, and you see how it progresses. And then you start to see their pictures uh, and they start to add in details in their pictures. Um, I am almost always, when I'm depicted in the pictures, I am always bald. <laughs> My daughter draws me like this. Something like that. I, I You can tell me from a mile away because she includes, she includes these details that I'm like, that's what I look like, but she's including the details. Okay, and I'm amazed at how she depicts my 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 baldness, right? Okay, so she is, so you, your children, your students, they're drawing pictures, and, and the goal is to make sure those pictures of our events or people, things that are important, but they include a lot of detail. In which of the following ways does this drawing activity contribute to the student's writing or uh, contribute specifically to children's readiness to write? What an awesome question, right? Very realistic. You can tell that they gave these in this test right here. Uh, they had reading specialists, you know, work on scenarios. Teachers, some of the scenarios were definitely written by, you know, reading specialists in preschool, right? In, in kindergarten. You could you can tell, you know, the way they're writing it, that they were some of these scenarios where they worked with kids, right? Okay, so here we have this scenario. Okay, so the, why would they want them to draw detailed pictures? Is it is the so that's the thing. Let me circle that stuff. Let me circle that key detail. This is a drawing activity and it's supposed to help writing. That's it. That's what we're doing. And we're using the journals. Okay. So why the detailed, why the detailed pictures? Is it to help with basic uh print concepts like le uh, letters, form words, that stuff? 
Is that it? And then which are read left to right and, and from top to bottom? So are we doing that? Letters form words, which are read from, no, that's not the, that's not the purpose of the drawing the picture. That's out. Um, is it to help with fine motor coordination? I mean, definitely drawing pictures and getting in that detail does help with fine motor. And, str and strength, they will need to create uh, ordinary curves and straight lines. Look at that detail, right? We definitely, absolutely, 100% want to build fine motor skills so that a child will be able to successfully do those curves and straight lines and diagonal lines as they're writing. Those, those uh, vertical, horizontal, the, the little curves, the, the big curves, right, we, and, and the diagonals, the sharp turns in the diagonals. We absolutely want that, right? See how they, 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 they've done this before. You can tell they've worked on this stuff before. But that's not what we're doing in the drawing activity, right? That's not the purpose of the drawing activity. So that's out too. How about this one right here? Increasing children's stamina to sit for extended periods of time and to attend to all forms of letters on the page. Well, let's circle this one, stamina. Yeah, you do a lot of activities that, that lengthen the time of the activities in those early grades, like kindergarten. You're doing a reading activity for five minutes, then seven minutes, then 10 minutes, then trying to stretch it out to 15 minutes. You're working in an a, in a activity and you're extending out the time, building the student's stamina. Fine. That could def definitely happen at the early grades. You're doing that with writing too. But that's not necessarily the purpose of the drawing activity, right? Cross it out. So what's the answer? The answer is the other one. But I, I like to spend time on these, these other ones because you get to see these scenarios and understand them and, and then maybe cross them out. Okay, it's easy answer. By preparing children to represent ideas with a picture, the same way they will one day represent right language with print so they're gonna they're doing the details now so that one day when they start to write about daddy they'll mention daddy's haircut in the in their writing i think that's awesome right that makes total sense trying to incorporate those details so that one day those details will come out in their writing awesome awesome so team this is another great question i this could be Another one of my favorite questions so far is this one right here. You know, sometimes you read questions and guess what? You, you spot, this is just me. You think like, hey, was this the same writer in the other question that I read? Because this, this question, whoever wrote this question seemed to know more about what they were doing than some of the other questions, right? You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not, maybe. <laughs> All right, this question right here is all about how write, drawing activities like this support writing activities. And the answer would be that the ideas in the picture are gonna one day come across in their writing, right? The answer is C. And this question uh, is from this test here. Let me pull it out. The answer is C from this test here. And you got um, that preliterate emergent writing stages going on here. Preliterate emergent um, transitional fluent, and and this idea of meaningful drawings supporting the writing. That's the uh, that's the other main idea here. Meaningful drawings can be used to support writing and future writing. All right, a great question. The answer is C. Let's go to the next one.